So for this month, I guess I'm in a fantasy mood. When am I not in a fantasy mood? But I um, was on one of my favorite cooking vlogs that I like to look at pictures, Wild Yeast Vlog, and she had a dragon tail baguette, which is like, hello. And I've never made bread before, which I understand involves steps. Right. So let's do it. process. Okay. Right. All right. Our first step is to make a, to ferment some poolish. Here's the thing about that word. I've never heard of it. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea what it is. So basically this is a pre-ferment step in making, which I had no idea. I just thought you made bread and put it in the oven. Me too. So learned me. So we need flour and then uh, we're gonna do equal part water. And then the that last ingredient good. is a pinch of yeast. That seems like a big pinch. All right, combine. Cover and let ferment for 15 to hours. 15 hours? All right, I'll, All right, see I'll you in the come morning. back. I'll come back, apparently. Okay. Robin. Hey, what's up? What's up? Did you go to sleep? I spent 15 hours, you know, living the dream. So, hey guys, we're back 15 hours later, and our poolish <laughs> is. Every time. It's uh, pubbly. I mean, it looks like I would not want my thighs to look like. So the next step after our poolish has pubbled is to mix it in with um, our other ingredients. Okay. So we have flour, water, instant yeast, salt. Now the recipe calls for diastatic malt um, powder, but I couldn't find that in town. You have to order online and I didn't plan ahead enough for that. So I got um, something else with malt in it, but it, you know, so if something goes wonky, it's probably. It's let's just talk. Lack of malt. Stop talking. Oh. So. See, it's it, to me, this looks like dough. Yeah, it already looks like dough. So it already looks like dough. Well, for 15 hours, it better look like dough. Get all of it in there. Okay. Don't waste any poolish. We don't want. <laughs> One ounce of poolish wasted is. <laughs> is what? I don't know. I can't think of anything funny. Uh, mix on low speed. We're going to put it on slow speed. Ah! That's a okay. lot of poolish wasted. Okay, stir one. So we're just gonna so continue. So we're gonna mix this until there's a low to medium level of gluten development. Gluten which, development. I have no idea. It doesn't look good, I need more water. I'm gonna put this 10% in. Oh, no, it's I not. I needed you. It's not Maybe put like 8%. Some poolish. <laughs> Transfer the stove to a lightly oiled container, which, which we've done. Yeah, we lightly oiled that. Mm -hmm. And oh my god, we have to cover and ferment at room temperature for an hour and 15 minutes. You want to go home and get dressed and then. Right. But I wish that in the email that you sent me, maybe I... you could have said this is going to be about an 18 hour process. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't read that far. I just All was right. like, let's make some bread. Okay. And look, it looks doughy. It does. All right. Ugh. Oh, maybe definitely oil your. Look at that. Hey, it's dough. What kind of knife is that? Uh, it's a bread knife. Oh. See? Yes, but this is dough. It's oh. not really bread. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, so we're going to form it into looks a like cylinder. A slug. It does not look like a slug. It looks like a. I mean, that in a, in a good way? In a good way. Okay. okay. So, okay, after you form the cylinders, cover and let rest 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 We're minutes. Good. Shape the dough into baguettes and plate them in a lightly flared koosh. Excuse me? That's koosh. Poolish and koosh. What kind of bread recipe is this? How is your dragon tail happening? Do I need it long? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't like do that so much, <laughs> you know? Yours has a... Well, let's not. Yours has a poor look. So we're gonna let this rest an hour and 15 minutes. Do you wanna go to lunch? This, you, you were here yesterday. You... Right after lunch. Yes, and you're gonna purchase lunch. That's... Okay, I'll, I'll buy mean, you lunch. I I'll just you have stuff to do. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back. Your treat, love it. Oh yeah, meanwhile, we needed to Preheat the oven. Okay. Oh, Robin, don't leave without me! All right. Okay. This is the step before it goes in the oven. Yes, I promise. Okay, <sighs> let's see. Voila, hey. They look wow. like puffier. They right? do. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this, 
Don't cut yourself, this worries. Okay, look, and then I pull it over and I make a dragon tail. So let me do another one. This is, this is not, should be, the, this should not be this. Okay, I'm gonna take that and look, it's a dragon tail. You see it? Uh-huh. You see it? Yes, I see it. It'll, look at that dragon tail. Look. This, my dragon, my dragon has, um, many weight issues in his tail. Oh, God. Oh, this, this is why I buy bread. Well, <laughs> this is not how we're supposed to do this. We're supposed to have one of those, oh, one the, of those. I get the. Oh, no. Those. This is not what you're supposed to do. Well, lay, maybe extend it. This is not what you're supposed to do. I'm ruining our dragon tails. Ah! All right, this is a frantic part. I don't like it. I know, this is another 17 minutes. 17 minutes. Okay. 18 hours later, we have some bread. <laughs> this is a big feat that we've Look accomplished. We're so proud of ourselves. Never great. made bread before. Have you made bread before? Uh, never. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Look, it's, it's it's bread. Okay, let's try it. All right. It's good, it's it really is. good. It, it tastes like bread. If you guys make dragon tail bread, or if you want to just interpret what you think dragon tail bread should look like in some sort of, some kind of way, mm -hmm. artistic way, just send it in. Send it in. See if you can do better than this. Right? That's cool. Mm -hmm.